Hello and welcome back audience, my name is Massive Brad and welcome back to my FIFA 15 Monaco career mode. Now guys I want to say a huge big thank you for the support on the recent videos, I know they've been a little bit off topic and a bit out of the blue, they have been Black Ops 3 beta, but you guys have seemed to really enjoy it, lots of you telling me that you're looking at pre-ordering it, we've been having a little bit of a discussion to, between who likes it and who doesn't, in my personal opinion I'm not too keen on it, I think that they took Black Ops 2 which was a brilliant game and they fused it with Advanced Warfare which wasn't a brilliant game and I don't know if that's just me because I'm used to the original Call of Duties like Modern Warfare, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1 and 2, none of them had these jetpacks and run across walls and lightning guns, they were just original, like on Search and Destroy, get the bomb, get in there, plant the bomb, none of these special abilities or anything like that, so I'm a little bit disappointed in how Call of Duty's going, but unfortunately this is the problem with Sledgehammer and Treyarch, they're looking towards the future, whereas Infinity Ward are looking at real life now, what equipment have we got right now, and how can we put that into a game, and that's the ones that I prefer, the originals, just a sniper, a ghillie suit, sitting in a bush, camping it out a little bit, watching, defending a bomb, bang, and that's how you get your kills. I'm not going to talk anymore about Call of Duty, you guys seem to be enjoying it, so I'm going to keep bringing you Call of Duty videos while the beta is still out, which I believe it finishes on Monday at midnight, the 31st, so I'll see if I can squeeze another one, and I might squeeze another one Monday morning, because I've got a bit of a special video coming out tomorrow, guys, so if you can support that video tomorrow, that'd be absolutely amazing, and if you do enjoy today's episode, make sure to smash that thumbs up, make sure to drop your comments down below if you are new around here, click that subscribe button, we're only two away from 50, guys, if we can have 50 in the next week, that'd be absolutely awesome, and make sure you share this video with your friends and family. Now guys, I'm hoping as well also, before we end today's episode, the microphone is a little bit more clearer, Now I'll explain why. The last couple of episodes, I've noticed that the quality of audio sounds a little bit muffled, a little bit crackly here and there. So I asked a couple of people and they said, yeah, I'm going to be honest, at the start it seems a bit muffled, a bit crackly and whatnot. So what I've done is I ordered, or a bought on the way home from work the other day, the exact same microphone, but I've changed the settings a little bit on it, I spoke to the person in there when I was buying it, and they said try this, so I'm trying it, but I've also ordered another microphone, I've also ordered Razer's new one, this isn't a sponsor, or I'm not doing like a sponsor thing where I get paid for any of this, in case you're wondering guys, I'm just telling you that, in my personal opinion, I've looked at a couple of microphones, I was stuck between getting the new version of the Yeti, going for Razer or going for Rode, I know a lot of people are using Rode microphones, but I chose the Razer in the end, I think it looks good, it looks really nice, so I'm ending up going to end up, sorry, with a Razer microphone, but for now I just replaced it with a Yeti, and hopefully this quality is a little bit better, but nevertheless, last episode guys, we done pretty well, we played two games and we managed to get the six points, we played Evian first, who I believe we beat 3-1, and then we played Bastia, who we managed to beat 2 0. So we picked up six points in that game. And hopefully, we can do the same in today's episode, where we are first away at Stade de Reims, and then we are against Yuan Gamp in the cup. I think it's the quarterfinals, so it's pretty important for us. So today's episode, this first one, this first game that we'll be playing, I'm going to be simulating, and then I'll be playing the game against Yuan Gamp. Now, also, people have also asked, Brad, can you do a quick squad? Squad, squad report. So I'm going to do that for you guys right now. So as usual, I'm just going to go down the list nice and quick. If you want to pause at any point to have a look how people have progressed or have a look at what attributes have gone up for them, you're more than welcome to. But I'm just going to dive straight into this and let's have a look how the players are doing. And there we go, guys. So, a little bit surprised, really, that only two of our players have actually downgraded minus one, which I think one was Carver Hall, and I think the other was Raggy. I believe it was Raggy. He's gone down, but apart from that, everyone else has gone up. But the one I'm really impressed with is this guy right here, plus three. He's gone up to a 78. And all his attributes, apart from vision and penalties in technical, mental, and physical, they're the only three things that haven't gone up. His acceleration's gone up, his sprint speed, his agility, his balance, his stamina, his jumping. I mean, his jumping is 92. His strength is 93. His aggression is 84. His stand tackle is 82. He is an absolute beast. He's absolutely smashing it. A little bit worried about some of the players we're loaning out, like Serzak, he's not gone up at all. Asana has gone up, which is funny, really, because none of these players, by the looks of it, are actually getting played, unless we just don't get to see their stats while they're on loan, but... By the looks of it, no one has gone up 
apart from Asana, which is a bit of a strange one. But nevertheless, that was the squad report right there, guys. Now I'm going to go over to the central. I'm going to simulate this first game. As you can see in the bottom right, 29 played. We're on 62 points, followed by PSG on 55, followed by Bordeaux on 51, Toulouse on 50, and Marseille on 49. And it was funny, guys, that Marseille were originally on top. They were absolutely smashing teams out. And now suddenly they find themselves joint five, or joint fifth, sorry, with Yuan Gamp, which is a bit of a strange one. I thought he would have stayed up there realistically, but I hope that we can win this simulated game because it's not going to take long before PSG are trying to click, like grab it at the very end, and that's what I don't want. So let's go ahead and jump into this game. Players are warming up. Come on, lads, we've got to win this one. Going 2 0. Cavani and Dyra to score. That's going to be my guess. Five minutes in, and Berylon has got a yellow card in the sixth minute. 20 minutes gone, Dyro's actually injured and Silva's come on for him, oh, that's not good, he's not going to score then. 40 minutes is coming up, 40 minutes has just passed and nothing, half time, Roberto Firmino's coming off for, or coming on for Draxler, sorry. Two little picks will be yellow card in the 56th minute, Raggy's coming on for Congolo. Come on lads, Muka Andio scores in the 76th minute with a penalty and we have just lost to Stad de Reims 1-0 lads. That is the problem with simulating away games, but I had to do that Liga, because we uh, are in the quarterfinals against Yuan Gamp up next. Pellier, that is not good at all. I'm wondering how we're looking now in the... Uh, we won't be able to see it actually until we finish up. Let's just look at these emails. How long is Dyer out one. for? Olympic Marseille. Oh, he's out for eight weeks. That's a bit longer than I would have thought, but never mind. So we'll jump over to the squad now. In fact, what I'll do is I'll simulate all the way to the match day. Just so we can see how everyone's energy is, but losing 1 0, it just shouldn't have happened. But I needed to simulate that game. I couldn't have played them both. We're not doing any international management, no thank you. Let's go in advance again. Come on, must be coming up now. So coming up for this weekend? Is it the 27th, 28th, 29th? Oh, it's the 29th. Oh no, it's not the 30th. Come on, come on, come on. Just get me all the way there. And there we go, match day, lads. I'm just going to jump over to the office. Delete both of these. I hate having Let's emails. I hate seeing that one or the now. two in an hexagon. And I just hate it. Round, now, let's change up the squad. Monica. So, Tulalan has actually picked up enough yellow cards that he can't even play in this game. Well done, Tulalan. You smashed that, didn't you? So, I'm actually going to... Yeah, we'll drop him off at back of Yoko. And we'll take him completely off for... We'll put E.K. Allen. Can't wait for him to be back, Fabinho. I know... Jose Corre is doing really well at a 78 rate, he's gone up 3 in that right back, but he's a centre back, so I would rather him get in there. And we're also going to bring Silver on for Daira, and I think they're the only changes I'm going to make to the team so far. I think at half time, I might look at bringing Martial, maybe Roberto Firmino, might even, oh no, I've got to take Daira cleanly out of me, let's bring Carvajal into it. Yeah, I might get Traore back into the team, not too sure yet, but we'll see how it goes, we'll see how the first half goes, and we can see what damage we can do. And we need to really stay in this quarterfinals and put us through to the semi-finals. And then hopefully we can go out to win this. And I did put last episode's title as we are the champions or can we be the champions or something along the lines of that. Because I feel that we've come this far now. If we keep up the way we're playing, there's no reason why we could not win this. And we could go on, win this cup and, best of all, earn some money and bring in some whopper signings next season. But let's jump into this and try and get through to the semi-finals. Here we go, match day, court lane, EA Yuan Gamp versus AS Monaco, it's going to be an interesting one this, we're both going to be battling to stay in this tournament, it's not going to be easy and we've got kick off, let's go Cavani to Drax, let's play it back to Condogbia, Jose Corre, come on Jose Corre, hold it up, that's nice, put it in the middle, Jean Martinho, puts it over for Bakayoko, play it up for Cavani, Cavani's going to do a light, nice little chip in. And Kondogby is through. Come on, Kondogby. Oh, how has Lossel saved that? Oh, that should be a goal. What a huge strike and what a huge save. It's literally just come off his head. His head save, that is unbelievable. Drax is going to try and whip one in. Come on, lads. Let's get a goal from this corner. Come on, whip one in. Kondogby a back post. No. Oh, well done. That was a bit fancy, wasn't it? Oh, come on. Well done. Go on, go on, go on. Let's go, Draxler. Come on, Draxler. Come on. Come on. Hit that. Boom. What a strike. Come on, win that. Referee. Oh, that should be a penalty. He's took him out and he didn't have the ball. Although you could say he fell over him. I don't really care. I think that should be a penalty. They are all over us. Win it. Win it. No. No. Win it. Please, this is dodgy as hell. Oh, it's gone off the ball and get it out. Well done. Come on. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. 
Keep going. Come on, Cavani. Rise above it. Rise. Yes, Cavani. What a goal, Edison Cavani. He is the goal machine for us, ladies and gentlemen. The goal machine. Look at him. He is just unbelievable ahead. And comes behind the defender, runs in, and that is his first goal in Coupe Nationale. I think that's how you pronounce it, Coupe Nationale. Might be wrong there, but that's what I'm thinking it is. Coupe Nationale. Plays in for Cavani. Back out for Jean Martino. Come on. Come on, Jean Martino. It's it. No. Drexler. Oh, what have you done? But nevertheless, the referee is blown for half time, guys. And I would say that we have slaughtered these this first half. Although they had to. But, you know, I'll give them that and they played pretty well for that build-up. We have been all over them. We have absolutely smashed them. Look at that, four shots, three on target. They've had one shot, one on target. Going to jump straight back in with the same team. I feel like the team's playing really well. And I feel like Draxler, since he's come in, has literally got used to playing in this team. He's gelled with the rest of the players. He's been absolutely phenomenal since coming in. He's a really decent player and I think he has definitely... Definitely took over Carrasco's place. We needed a player that was... No! Oh, it was offside. Happy days. I was a bit worried about selling Carrasco, but for 20 million. And then we brought Draxler in for 15 million. I feel like that was probably one of the biggest bargains we ever could have made. He's absolutely unbelievable. Here we go. Play it. Lovely ball to Jean Martino. Where's Cavani? Cavani's actually off the pitch, which is a bit of a worry. Let it go. Oh, Sylvia nearly kept that in. Cavani is not back on the pitch yet. Is he coming on now? Oh, he's still not coming on, lads. This could be a huge worry for us, couldn't it? Come dog beer. Come dog beer. Come on, find me a bit of space. Back at Yoko! What a goal! What a city! Do you know what? I was just about to say that myself. What a season he is having. Whether I bring him in as a substitute, whether I start him off, he gets into those positions, he finds a bit of space, and what a goal that is. Timmy Yu Bakayoko has been an absolute outstanding young player for us. Cavani's asking to come on. Ref, let him come on. Oh, unlucky. Do you know what? I'm going to take him off, lads. I feel like if I keep playing him, I'm going to make his injury worse. And I know that sounds normal, but... I've just got to take him off. I don't want to risk it. If it comes back that he's injured for three weeks, if I keep playing, it might be eight weeks or something. So I'm going to bring Marty along. I'm also going to bring Traore on for... I'm actually going to bring him on for Condogby. I think Bakayoko has played pretty well so far. And I'm also going to bring... Yeah, let's bring Roberto Firmino on for Jean Martino. And just hope. Hope and Draxler and Silva can outlast with their stamina. They seem pretty low themselves. Win that, Abdenor. Well done. Play it. Here we go. Here's Silva. Laser off for Roberto Firmino. He's going to pick up Martial on the far side. Take it down, Martial. Take it down. Hold it up. Play it inside. Here we go. Back of Yoko for a second. <gasps> and it's saved by Lossel. And it hasn't gone out. Draxler picks it up. Good little ball in for back of Yoko again. Roberto Firmino plays over to Draxler. Oh, Draxler's just missed out there, unfortunately. Come on, Firmino. Get in there. Ball's coming over the top. Win that. Oh. <gasps> And Kerbrat has got to it. And do you know what? I'll keep it on the most dodgiest thing ever then. That was like minually. But well done. I'm not going to complain. We managed to luckily... Well, we're lucky really that the opponents didn't put it on target. But here we go. Martial. Oh, referee. Come on. Is the ref going to blow? And there we go. The referee blows. Full time, guys. What an absolute stunner of a game. Only 2-0. But what a 2-0 it was. That was absolutely extraordinary. So proud of the team. Cavani getting a beautiful header. And then Bakayoko finding a little bit of space and putting his laces through it. Who got man of the match? That's what I want to see because a lot of players played well then. And it was Jean Martino who got man of the match before he came off for Roberto Firmino. Exactly the same rating, 7.8. Martio coming on with Firmino and Traor. Pardon me, Traore. Not getting the highest of scores, but nevertheless, they, both, all three of them played very well. Five shots, four on target, and what a game that was, lads. And there we go, we have progressed through to the semi-finals. So we took on Evian, beat them 2-1. Yuangam took out Bastia, I believe that to be, or was that Bordeaux? No, I think it's Bordeaux. They managed to win 1-0, they then got knocked out by us 2-0. And now it's down to have to lose one, or PSG one. And over the other side, is it Leon or St. Etienne? Or is it, I'm not too sure on them to actually, I'm not too sure on the bottom teams if I'm completely honest, but thinking Leon should have beat Etienne and I would have thought PSG would have beat Toulouse, but you just never know with football guys, anything can happen. AS Monaco concerned over Cavani, oh no, how long is he out for, please don't be long, 
Right, suspension over. Too long can be played now. Happy days. Oh, Cavani has suffered dead, a dead leg quad and will be out for six days. Oh, I'm so happy with that. So, so happy. Six days is not long at all. Have we even got a game within those six days? We have. We've got one in four days against St. Etienne, but that's not a problem. We can play Martial up front next episode. And I'm quite happy to have Martial as a backup striker. But what I am going to look at next January, or sorry, next summer transfer. I keep saying January, we've already done January. When we go into season two, the main positions I'm going to look for is a new striker. And I'm either going to look at Jackson Martinez or Lacazette. And I'm also going to look at a right mid. And that is either going to be Bellarabi, Niang, or there was another one. I can't remember his name. Now, let me just go and see if I've put him on the shortlist. I'll just check quickly. So the ones we're going in for are Lacazette. Oh, Itebe. That's it. So there's going to be Itebe, Nyang, and uh, Bellarabi. They are the players that I'm going to go in for for that right mid. And I'm going to look for an extra striker because I feel like although Cavani is brilliant at the moment and Martial's stepping up as well, I feel like we just need that extra striker just in case. In case we ever need to play two up front or I need to make a sub because someone gets injured and somebody's out. It's just nice having three choices up front. So, that is all I'm going to have time for in today's episode, guys. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to smash that thumbs up. Make sure to drop your comments down below. If you're new around here, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. I have been Massive Brad. Peace out.